In today's day and age, it's not always easy to find a brand new modern home with no restrictions. But today, my friends, I'm excited to show you a new builder that just came into the Central Florida area and they're building houses on quarter acre of land with no HOA. Let's begin, my friends. Now today, my friends, we're gonna be stepping inside of this beautiful new construction home. This home features four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 1,606 square feet of living space with a two car garage and a quarter acre of land. My friends, one thing I want you to note at going throughout the entirety of this video is that this property has no HOA. So what does that actually mean for you? That means that you're not gonna have anybody telling you what you can or can't do on this piece of land which is something beautiful just to have that freedom. Now, for anybody who's not too familiar, we're here in Ocala, Florida, my friends. If you have seen a few of my past videos, you are very well aware of Ocala and the amount of growth that is happening in this beautiful new metropolitan city. Now, to give you a bigger perspective, we're only an hour and 15 minutes away from Orlando, Florida. We're an hour and 15 minutes from Tampa, Florida, and we're gonna be about two hours and 15 minutes from Clearwater Beach, which is pretty much 30 minutes west of Tampa, Florida. Now these two Metropolitans are very similar. They have a lot of professional sports teams. They have, Tampa has the NHL, MLB, and NFL. And Orlando's gonna have the NBA, Orlando Magic, let's go. We're gonna win it this year. And then Orlando City Soccer. So it's something really cool that we're here in Ocala, very close to all these bigger cities. Now here in Ocala, we're only 25 minutes from downtown Ocala, which is very charming. It's very cute. If you've ever been to Savannah, Georgia, it kind of gives you that kind of town square vibe. If you've ever seen Forrest Gump where you're sitting on the bench, you kind of get those vibes while you're there. You have a lot of cool restaurants down there. You're gonna have my personal favorite, La Cantina Tex-Mex. You're gonna have a really good barbecue joint, Mark's Prime Steakhouse. So you have a few cool things down there in downtown. We're only 20 minutes from the World Equestrian Center. And for anybody who doesn't know, Ocala is the horse capital of the world. So what does that mean is that this is a new metropolitan city that is keeping that nature aspect of the city alive. There's so many people that travel all over the world for the equestrian events. So if you do decide to move to Ocala, it's something to definitely check out if you're unfamiliar with it. So now at the end of this video, I'm gonna be going over all the finances of this specific property, what your down payment looks like, what your credit score needs to be. And I'm actually gonna run a calc, I'm gonna give you guys an exact calculation on how you can see how much you can qualify for just with your calculator. So with that being said, my name is Renzo Montiuti. I'm the host of this blessing of a YouTube channel and let's go ahead and get started. Come on. Now here we are, my friends. This is a new builder that came into Ocala and recently started building some new homes. So I wanted to analyze this property, break it down and show you kind of from a realtor's perspective what I see. The very first thing is I see that this is a wider home. So it's not necessarily a lengthier home, it's just gonna be wider. So you're gonna have a lot of front facing windows. Here's gonna be your two car garage. I love the light fixtures that kind of blend with the white paint of the home. And you are gonna have that stacked stone here at the bottom, right behind the landscaping of this property. Let's get inside. Now, stepping into the property, my friends, you immediately come into the living space. So here is gonna be a perfect place to set up your TV right over here, or you can get it going on this side. They have an, a cable outlet on both angles, so they give you the freedom to kind of pick and choose which side you want to go to. But this is where you're going to have more space to maybe put your couch, put your nice big TV so you can watch the games and watch the La Tela Novelas or whatever it is you want to watch here. And this is going to be a nice living room. This property is going to have no carpet at all. So I know there's so many people that call us and they're telling me, Renzo, you know what? There's going to be one thing. I want the house, but it can't have carpet. 
And I'm like, okay, I got you, no worries. So here we're gonna have all LVP. This is gonna be kind of like a lighter wood colored LVP. So this is scratch resistant and water resistant, just to keep that in the back of your mind. These are gonna be nine foot four ceilings, just to give you a perspective. So it does feel like a bigger home. Now here we are situated in the breakfast nook area. We're gonna have a nice light right above us. Here, we're also gonna be able to see into the backyard and the back covered lanai space that we'll get to a little bit later. And now here we step into the kitchen. Porch countertop, all kitchen appliances coming with the home, gray shaker cabinets with beautiful handle fixtures and the refrigerator, your dishwasher's right over here. And this is a beautiful island. Now, another thing that everybody's been asking for and it's, hey, I want the sink not to be on the island. Now, for some people, we love it on the island and then there's some that don't. Or, and then there are some that prefer having a, a view out in the backyard. That is one really cool thing is that you're gonna have a view into the backyard here at the sink. So Ada Failden, if you know, I'm, I'm talking about you. I know you've only been looking for properties with the sink looking out into the backyard. So we're definitely gonna take a look at this when you get down here. So. That being said, you're gonna have cabinets down below as well. Here is gonna be your nice pantry space, just to give you a perspective on the size, microwave, stove, and refrigerator. Now, my friends, right next to the kitchen, we're gonna have our powder room. This is nice because if you do have, like having family over, if you do like having people at your house, maybe throwing a little party or a get together, this is gonna be a nice powder room so they don't have to go to either side of the home. Everything is easily accessible here. Now we're gonna to continue to go back to take a look at a few of the guest bedrooms. Here is going to be the first guest bedroom. This is gonna be 11 by 10 feet, just to give you a perspective on the size. This is your closet space right over here. This is your big double window that's already gonna be coming with the blinds overlooking the south side of the home. Now, as we step out, we're gonna be going right across into the next bedroom. This is gonna be the same size. Same closet space right over here. And then nice double window facing the north side of the home. I like that they put bigger windows in this property. So a lot more natural light is gonna be able to enter. And then right over here, we're gonna have our next bedroom. This room is gonna be slightly smaller. This is gonna be about 10 by eight feet, slightly smaller. This is gonna be perfect for maybe an at-home office, meditation room, or maybe even an at-home gym. Nice window facing north side of the home, same closet space. And now this is gonna be the main bathroom, the full bathroom for this side of the home. Quartz countertop, cabinets down below, toilet, tub shower, skylight with ceramic backsplash, beautiful. Now going across the property, we're gonna be stepping into the master bedroom. Boom. Now, this is gonna be a really good size room. You can easily fit a king size bed, have your dresser, nice stand right next to your king size bed, two windows facing the south side of the home, a lot of natural light coming in. And now as we step in, we're gonna have the bathroom and closet space. This is, you're gonna have your double sink, nice mirrors, kind of get yourself prepared for the day. Look at yourself in the mirror, shake yourself off, make sure you look good and get going. Toilet and walk-in shower right over here is going to be the nice closet space my friends now we're going to step outside of the bathroom and let's go ahead and take a look at this laundry room and garage so this is already going to come with the sink this is where you're going to be able to set up your washer and dryer nice rack so you can keep your laundry detergent up there and now we step into the two-car garage now this is gonna have epoxy flooring, which is a nice touch that the builder does. Garage door opener is gonna be coming with the home. Here's gonna be your electrical panel. Right over here is going to be your water heater and your AC air handler. And this is it, my friends. Now let's take a look at the backyard. Now stepping outside, like I mentioned at the beginning of the tour, this home is has more width than it does length. So what that means is you're gonna have a lot more space in your backyard. Just to give you a perspective, this is the back of the property. This is gonna give you just an idea of how much extra space you're getting in your backyard with this specific floor plan. You'll have less on the sides, but way more room in the back. 
So this is gonna be a quarter acre of land, plenty of space to build a pool, a pool really as big as you'd like. And the property line is gonna go all the way back to here. So even like this sandy area, this is your property line as well. You could get this completely fenced in, have tons of privacy. If you're somebody who appreciates privacy or is absolutely looking for it, this could be a beautiful home to look at for you. Now let's go ahead and get inside. I'm sure there are a lot of you who are curious, hey, what do I gotta do to get into this house? How, Renzo, how do I even get started with looking at homes? How does the process work? There's so many things going into a real estate transaction that many of us have no idea about. Our job is to make it as simple as possible and make sure you guys have all the information you need to make a calculated decision. I always believe a confused mind is always gonna say no. So we always try to make sure you guys have all the information as clear as possible. Let's get inside and start talking some numbers. So here we are at the end of the tour, my friends. Now, first and foremost, this property is priced at $314,000. $900, so pretty much $315,000, my friends. That is the current market value of this home. Now, knowing what this is priced at, the price per square foot, the types of finishes, I already know right off the bat, I can pretty much get 3% closing costs paid for on this home. Just being able to negotiate with these builders at this price point, we always tend to make it happen uh, at this price point. Now, if you're looking in the 220 to 260 range here in, in Ocala, that's where you're not gonna have a lot of flexibility on negotiating uh, closing costs and everything unless you increase the price and the difference you get it back in closing costs. So let's put an example. There are a lot of homes here for $250,000, right? Three bed, two bath, 12, 1300 square feet. And those builders are already so tight on their margins, they don't really have room because there are, those are the affordability homes that sell quick, 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 quick. Now, the most I've gotten from those 250 to 260 builders uh, price point is maybe like two, three, maximum 4K. Um, and that's really squeezing it out and that the ones that have been sitting on the market for over 60, 90 days. But typically we don't really, there's not too much negotiations when we're at that price point. Now, when we're at 290, 300, 315, there's always a little bit of room, maybe get some off the price, maybe get some in closing costs, et cetera, et cetera. With that being said, so 315,000, the estimated taxes are gonna be about $3,000 per year. And that is gonna be before you do a homestead tax exemption. If you're not familiar with that, that means if you are a resident here in Florida for one year, you can homestead your property and you can deduct up to $50,000 off the taxable value of your home, which is a big plus. What that really looks like for you guys is saving an extra three to $600 on a property three to $600 per year on a property like this. Now, I wanted to do some calculations with you guys. So to qualify for a home, uh, there's a very simple calculation you guys can do, okay? So I want you to pause this video, go get a pen and paper, come back and hit play, boom. So first and foremost, I want you guys to take a look at what is your yearly income? Now, first and foremost, I want you guys to take a look at your past two years of taxes, okay? So I want you to look at your past two years and whatever your 1099 or W-2 is, if you are on 1099, make sure to utilize the tax, make sure to, you use the number after you deducted your taxes. Like me as a realtor, I'm on 1099. I have a lot of deductions that I do on my taxes. So the number that I'm, I end with after my deductions is a number I want to use. Let's go ahead and say in 2022, we made uh, the example we're going to use, we made $55,000. And then in 2023, last year, we made $60,000. Okay, so what we're going to do is 55,000 plus 60,000. And that's going to equal 115,000. Okay. Now we're gonna divide that number by 24, okay? That gives you 4,791. So just to recap real quick, add your past two years of income 
and divide it by 24. Okay, that's going to give you 4,791. Right off the bat, we're going to divide that by two. That gives you two thousand three hundred and ninety five dollars. Okay, this is going to be the amount of monthly payment you can qualify for on a mortgage. Why did I do 50% of your monthly income? It's because banks aren't going to allow you to aren't going to lend you more money. Banks aren't going to lend you more than 50% of your income because they take into consideration you have other expenses. You have food, you have gas, you have a lot of other expenses that you need to take care of and they take note of that, okay? Now, from this $2,395, we're not done yet. You need to subtract the minimum payment on any debts that you owe. So that could be credit cards, that could be car payments, that could be student loans, that could be boat payments if you own a boat. So what are, if there's anything that you are financing right now, you want to get the minimum monthly payment, okay? So let's say I have a car payment for $200 and I have a credit card, I pay $100. That's a total of $300. So from this number, I'm going to subtract $300 dollars okay or two thousand ninety five dollars uh as qualifying income now to turn this into a real number of how much i can qualify for all we're gonna do is divide it by 0 0.007 and that's gonna give you a, a purchase price amount of three hundred thousand dollars okay so just to give you an example if you made roughly fifty seven thousand dollars over the past two years on average and you have $300 in monthly debts, you can qualify around $300,000 on a home. Now, that is with the current kind of market, interest, taxes, HOA. There's a lot of different things that, to take into consideration here. Now, there are some builders with interest rate buy downs who make it a more affordable. Like if right now interest rates are at 6.5% for an FHA, 6.8% for a conventional loan, there's some builders giving you 5.5 FHA and 5.99 conventional. So if you do those, that makes it even more affordable and your purchase price can go up, right? So there are a lot of different things that go into this to make sure you can qualify for what you're looking for. But I hope that formula kind of gave you a good example on how this works. Now, next step, let's go ahead and talk about down payment, okay? Let's go ahead and talk about down payment. So on a property like this, $315,000, a down payment with an FHA loan is going to be $11,025. So right around $11,000. Okay. Now, what is the amount of money you would need to bring to the closing table to actually buy this house? So you're going to have your down payment and then you have closing cost. Like I mentioned, with this builder, we can get closing costs covered. We can negotiate a great deal. So all you got to really come to the table with is $11,000 and whatever else you utilize, maybe to buy down interest rate points um, or any other or and the prorated taxes for the year. So I'd say bring to the table around twelve dollars to $13,000. If you have great credit, you're not really buying down the interest rate and just, you know, want to get in as little as possible. So you could buy this home with twelve dollars to $13,000, ladies and gentlemen. That's with an FHA loan. With a conventional loan, your down payment would look like this. Boom. So that's what your down payment is going to look like. And now if you're looking as maybe an investment property, you know, putting 15% down, you're going to be looking at around $63,000 uh, for a down payment. Okay. So that is pretty much it for today. Uh, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to reach out to my team and I. Uh, we have a full team here dedicated to make sure you guys get the best experience possible. We have transaction coordinators. We have personal assistants. So if sometimes maybe like today I'm recording a video, I don't answer my client's calls. My assistant is able to get in contact with you guys to make sure everything is being handled properly, right? So we have a lot of systems in play to make sure you guys have the best experience possible. And we also have a team of four different agents that are highly skilled here in the Ocala and Central Florida area. So if you are interested in purchasing a home, feel free to reach out to us. We'd be more than happy to help. Just give us a call or go on themontiutgroup.com and you're going to be able to go directly to our website and type in your information and we'll get back to you as soon as you fill out that information. So I love you all so much and I hope to talk to you soon. Ciao, ciao.